title is The Efficiency of Immunotherapy to the Subjects with Allergy to Bivena and Its Influence in Pollen Allergy. Abstract author, me, Dr. Leonora Hanale, she certified specialist allergologist immunologist in Isa Grazar Regional Hospital, Kosovo. First, I want to express many thanks to United States of America, to NATO and the European Union because the Kosovo today is a state and we are free. Thank you. Introduction. Humanoptera venom allergy is an immunoglobulin E mediated hypersensitivity to the venom of insects in the insect order Humanoptera. This allergic reaction may be caused by stings from a number of species in this insect order occurring only in persons who have previously been sensitized to Humanoptera venom. Insect sting allergy can develop at any age and usually manifest after several uneventful stings. The incidence of systemic reaction to Hymnoptera venom is approximately 3% uh, approximately in adults, also children are stung more often than adults. Systemic reactions occur in only about 1% of children younger than 17 years, and many of these reactions are relatively mild. Large local action, reactions to Hymnoptera stings are more common in children, with an estimated incidence of 20% and 10% respectively for children, 20% and adults, 10%. The prevalence of insect sting allergy is twice as high in male as in female patients and may be a result of increased exposure rather than inherent susceptibility. Normally, there is no clear association with other allergies. Only 30% of patients with venom allergy are atopic. This. In addition, insect sting allergy is statistically not more likely to occur in persons with a family history of sting reactions. History. The first reports of stinging insect allergy came from the Middle East thousands of years ago. Even at that time, people understood that the small insects, such as a bee or wasp, had the potential to cause serious illness or even death. Hymenoptera stinging insects. All the stinging insects belong to the insect order Hymenoptera, of which there are 16,000 species in North America. Less than 1% are responsible for human stings. All the species that are medically important belong to three families, Apida, Vespida, and Formicida. Only the females of each species have stingers, which are ovipositors that have lost their egg laying function and have been modified for stinging and envenomization. Most species sting in defense of themselves and their nests, as do some, Specials also sting as a means of capturing their prey. Signs and symptoms. Most Hymenoptera stings cause small local reactions of no significant medical consequence. These normal sting reactions are characterized by pain, eating, redness, and swelling at the sting site that resolve within several hours <coughs> and are caused by the pharmacologic properties of the venom. Some large local reactions are caused by late phase Ig dependent reaction that is mild initially but progresses after 12 to 24 hours to a diameter of more than 5 centimeters. This usually peak in intensity at 48 to 72 hours. These reactions are contiguous with the sting site and occasionally involve an entire extremity. In rare cases, massive swelling causes local anatomic compression. Large local sting reactions typically resolve gradually over 5 to 10 days. Virtually all patients with large local reactions continue to have similar reactions with subsequent sting. This tendency is not modified with venom immunotherapy. Therefore, patients with large local reactions are not candidates for further diagnostic evaluation. Systemic reactions cause signs and symptoms in one, in one or more organ systems and are almost always Ig mediated. Systemic reactions cause a spectrum of manifestation ranging from cutaneous signs such as pruritus, flushing, urticaria, angioedema, to respiratory involvement such as cough, throat, or chest tightness, dyspnea, wheezing, cardiovascular compromise, dizziness, hypotension, unconsciousness, depending on the severity of the reaction and gastrointestinal manifestations such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and uterine cramping also occur occasionally. Cardiac anaphylaxis with manifestations of coronary vasospasm, arrhythmias, or bradycardia can also occur following stings, 
even in persons with no underlying cardiac disease. Systemic reactions usually cause the symptoms starting within minus following a sting. In general, the sooner the symptoms occur, the more severe the reaction is. Pathophysiology. Both systemic and large local reactions to stinging insects are usually caused by IgE-mediated reaction to Neuroptera venom. At least one prior sting is required to sensitize a person to venom, and sensitization is more likely to occur following multiple simultaneous stings or subsequent stings occurring over a relatively short period of time. Once sensitization has occurred, a sting can cause mast cell and basophil degranulation resulting in release of the histamine and other inflammatory mediators responsible for the sink, signs and symptoms of anaphylactic and some large local reactions. Now, the family Apida, scientific name Apis mellifera, common name bee. Apis mellifera, commonly known as the bee, is a very common insect believed to have originated in Africa. Most likely, this primitive species spread from France through Central Europe, north of the Alps, the British Islands, southern Scandinavia, down to the Ural Mountains. Worker bees can have a length between 1.1 and 1.5 centimeters with a light orange and dark brown coloring. You can often see bees on flowering plants, on sources of sugar, honeydew, and so on, or on pools of water during hot days. Bees build nests in beehives or sometimes in hollow trees or cracks in the walls of buildings. Bees can attack in mass, if not too far from their hives. A peculiar characteristic of the Apis mellifera is the serrated stinger. The stinger is barbed so that it lodges in the victim's skin, tearing loose from the bee's abdomen and leading to its teeth in minutes. Distribution is to Italy, period of exposure to allergen all years around. The testing for allergy disease uh, to venom uh, Stinging insects are intradermal reaction testing, skin prick testing, determination of specific IgEs. Allergic reactions to bee venom can be severe enough to cause anaphylactic shock, which can be fatal. Now, our turn, efficacy of venom immunotherapy. Venom immunotherapy is extremely efficacious in preventing subsequent systemic reactions in patients with stinging insects allergy. Efficacy is highest with mixed best with venom it is 98% effective in preventing subsequent systemic reactions with a main time dose of 300 micrograms or 100 micrograms per each venom. For therapy with individual venoms, example honeybee, yellow jacket or wasp, at a dose of 100 micrograms per venom, immunotherapy is 75 to 95% effective in preventing systemic reactions to future stings. Those few patients who continue to have systemic reactions usually have milder reactions than before beginning treatment. Increasing the maintenance dose of immunotherapy to 200 micrograms provides full protection for most patients who have had systemic reactions while receiving treatment with single venom at a dose of 100 microgram. Now, in Kosovo, as in other parts of the globe, allergy diseases are very often presented in our medical institution. Also, the percentage is almost same as in Europe or in other parts. In generally, approximately one per four, one per five of inhabitants is presenting different kinds of allergies, starting from mild symptoms to severe life-threatening allergy reactions. Me as a certified specialist, working and living in a small city, in Kosovo, Jakova. In my everyday experience, I meet different kinds of allergies to my patients, like pollen allergies, wood allergies, medical medication allergic reactions, contact allergies, and insect sting allergies such as bites, bee, blast, etc. In one my case, of my observed patient, I verified the subject 12 years old, gender female, was allergic in pollens and bee venom with anaphylactic allergic reaction. Specific IgE detected was with polycheck. Biocheck first analyses are shown as down below. Uh, the pollen and bee venom. Here is bee venom, class range five. We will show all, each one. Uh, the first was performed in 2012 year. After one year, 2013, the range has fallen down from 5 to 4. Concomitantly, 
This patient has started initial treatment in Mother Teresa University Hospital Center of Tirana in Albania two years ago with Rush Method. After this process, the treatment was continued by me in Regional Hospital of Jakova. Until now, I'm performing by schematic regimen subcutaneous immunotherapy, and every time the patient is under my observation for 30 minutes. During the period of two years of immunotherapy, the treatment has indicated very well to the patient with moderate local reaction in the beginning and now without any possible clinical adverse reactions. Every application of vaccine was performed deep subcutaneously in the upper external side of the arm. After one year of venom immunotherapy with an allergo vaccine, the patient has repeated specific IG polyps and inumutera venoms with the parameters of, as we shown before. B venom has fallen down from 5 to 4, alder pollen from 1 to 0, birch pollen from 2 to 0, hazelnut pollen from 2 to 1, beech pollen from 2 to 0, wax pollen from 2 to 1, pine from allergen from 2 to 0, rhizopus nigrans from two to zero, grass mix from three to one, and house dust mites from two to zero. And concomitantly, parameters of V-venom and parameters on pollens began to fall down without etiological treatment. It means without specific immunotherapy on certain pollens. Material, uh, almost this, everything. Material and methods. The patient was receiving L-tyrosine adsorbed subcutaneous immunotherapy for hemoptera venom of an allergo vaccine, Apis mellifera, l tyrosine delayed subcutaneous immunotherapy for, humano, de, uh, immunotherapy for humanoptera venom, consists of two initial variants of l tyrosine delayed extract of purified venom, respectively one 5 milliliter vial containing one microgram per milliliter and one uh, 5 milliliter vial containing uh, 10 microgram per milliliter for initial treatment. Starting treatment plan. This is okay. the dosage schematic regimen, which, which was started every week, obtaining one vaccine. First week, 0 0.1 milliliter of green label vial containing one microgram per milliliter. Second week, 0 0.2 milliliter, third 0 0.5, fourth week 0 0.5 milliliter, afterwards continued about with a yellow label containing 10 micrograms per milliliter. In five, the fifth week, have obtained 0 0.1 milliliter, in six 0 0.2 milliliters, in seventh week 0 0.4 milliliter, in eighth week 0 0.5 milliliter. After the treatment was continued by maintenance treatment with red label vial containing 100, 100 per micro, microgram per milliliters. In nine week, the patient have obtained 0 0.1 milliliter. In tenth week, 0 0.2 milliliter. In eleventh week, 0 0.4 milliliter. In twelfth week, 0. 0.5 milliliter, in 30 week 0 0.6 milliliter, and in 14 week 0 0.8 milliliter. In uh, in uh, 16 week, he obtained one milliliter of uh, vaccine. After every four weeks, the regimen was uh, conduced. Conclusion, the patients which are allergic to bee venom, which are most of the time allergic to pollens too, by obtaining venom immunotherapy can present a decrease of parameters in pollen allergy too. So I need to follow one year more the patient analysis in order to make a definitive conclusion about the efficiency of venom immunotherapy and its correlation of positive influence to pollen allergy. My sponsors, many thanks to Ministry of Health Kosovo, my regional hospital, and pharmaceutical supporters, and Allergo, Glasgow Smith Lai, and many thanks to Omics Group. Thank you for Thank attention. You. Questions, production issues? Okay. Larry? <laughs> uh, this is a very important study, and um, uh, in your patient base, uh, uh, have you looked at patients that are uh, manifesting uh, uh, 
anaphylactic reaction to the bee stick? No, uh, because she started uh, the initial treatment in Mother Teresa Tirana after it was continued by me, by myself, after some months. Now, I is in my observation about one year and more. It remains to follow and one more year or three more years. It depends of her analysis, how it will be another year. I hope to fall down as after one year has fallen. And maybe it's a simple abstract, but I have my observation that obtaining venom immunotherapy, the parameters of pollen have fallen down concomitantly with uh, because uh, the B venom range was from five to four for one year. Now it remains to follow what will happen or to make a comparison between analergo vaccines and another uh, products of venom immunotherapy to see the comparison if the effect is the same to make a large study to more patients because we do not have a very more passion, a lot of passions to make a study. But I hope in the future I will make a study, and in this case. I, I just, and so while we look at that, we found uh, an antibody that could be uh, quite efficacious in terms of uh, uh, immune natural. protection. And uh, uh, the long story short is that uh, we filed a patent to the U.S. Patent Office. We're granted a patent on it, so maybe we should talk about it and let you know about okay. it. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? I, I just have a little bit. Okay. Uh, is there anyone to allow you to figure out how this is working? Yes. I have my colleague, colleague which is present here, Dr. Lulieta Ahmetai. She's the first allergologic, uh, allergologist in Kosovo. And I hope in future, together, to make a study for this question in more patients, not only in Jakova, but in whole region of Kosovo, we need to make a definitive conclusion of efficacy because we all know that obtaining one venom immunotherapy, if you are allergic in other allergens, the uh, sensitivity can fall down. But this I observed clinically in my patient. Maybe it's a simple abstract, but I am only a clinician, not a researcher. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. I want to thank you for all the speakers and